Let's build a simple guess the word game in Elixir. The first thing we'll do is create a new file here and we're going to call it app.exs. This is the script version of Elixir just for the sake of brevity. Choose what the word is going to be. Let's say we want to choose the word bread. So I'm just going to leave it here as a comment. This is a comment in Elixir and it's ignored by the compiler. This is just so we remember what we're trying to match here. So the next thing is we want to give some hints to the player. What is the word that we want him to guess? Let's say flour, water, yeast, bakery. And then we want to display this to him. We can do this with the IO puts. And then we say hints. And then we use the string interpolation operator. Basically, he's going to put everything that's inside our hints variable inside this string. So let's run our application for now and see this is working correctly. So looks good for now. Next thing, of course, we want to do is make the player input something. And we can do that with the IO gets. And we're going to display a message to him. Guess the word. And we want to store that in a variable. So let's call this variable guess. Let's just see if it's going correctly. Now it's not going to do anything, but it's it's allowing us to input it. So something we can do in Elixir is io.inspect. And this is just for the developer to use. It should not be on your production code. It should be removed when you're done, but you can see the state of your variable. So we're, we're going to do this to see if what's stored in the guess variable is what we expect. So when we do this, we write bread. You're going to see that uh, there's something weird going on here. We have bread, but we have a slash n. What the hell is that? That is a line break. So apparently when we press enter, it went also to our variable when we do not want that. So what we can do is use the function in the string module of Elixir called strip. <laughs> Good name, right? Which basically does exactly that. So let's try it out again and see if this returns what we actually want. Okay, so this solved our issue here. Let's go back here and get this and rebind our variable. So now the guess has the new correct value. Now, the important part of the game, of course, is matching what the player put in against the word we want. So we're going to use a control structure in Elixir called case. We're going to use it with our variable guess. And what this does is it basically pattern matches guess against different things. So let's start with the correct one, which is what we actually want, which is bread. This is how you do it. So in case case this matches to bread, we're just going to output, okay, blur one, right? And if it matches to anything else, and we can signal this with an underscore in Elixir, this is basically means you're not going to use whatever the value here is because we're just going to output something. So in this case, the player lost, right? And if, even if you, if you want, you can just put a better variable name here, like wrong guess, just for improved readability. But it's also okay to just use the underscore variable. So hopefully now our game works. Let's go back here. And if we put in bread... We won, right? Now let's try and do golf. And now we lost. Let me know if you have any issues doing this, running this thing. All right, stay tuned for the next videos. We're gonna improve this game and make it nicer. Be sure to check out the source code in the description of the video. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you next time. Take care and happy brewing.